sure we're live. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. And I'm popping out the chat. And today is August 2nd, 2019. And what the plan is for today is to just spend the day. And this is probably gonna be our first live stream, uh, anywhere between two to three hours. And then I have to a couple of the student and then most likely later on tonight we're going to do the same thing but basically what we're going to do today is um, list comic books on ebay so i'm going to walk you through the process of uh, how i go about uh, listing these comic books on ebay and uh, what i've discovered so far <laughs> and uh, and uh, just so just so you know how it's how it's working out uh, what i'm going through and this is definitely connected to the stuff we're doing regarding asmr mathematics personal finance and whatnot right and obviously overlapping with a ton of comic book stuff that we've done which is sort of uh, should bring everything home uh, going through this process and once once we look at the data regarding um what it means to invest in comic books and if you extend this further what it means to invest your money and get a rate of return and whatnot right uh so that's the grand design for now what we're interested in is to list comic books on ebay okay and uh again we're just going to give everyone a little bit of time uh, to pop into the chats uh, pop into the live stream uh, it is 11 a.m uh, on a friday my time so um, you know it's during the day late uh, later on in the evening uh, in Europe uh, DMT Jackson how are you doing grow King Giro Gyro Giro Giro King number two hey Chicho how you doing doing well doing well been looking forward to the stream I got a few different setups that we're gonna do by the way for this Eduardo how are you doing How's life? Intrepid. Hey, Chicho. Hope you're having a great day so far. Fantastic day so far. I got, I got matcha. And that's cold matcha. Sweet cold matcha. Strong. And I got warm Persian black tea. Not sweet. And I got some water here too. No, no food. When I'm dealing with comic books, I don't, I don't eat. <laughs> usually any tips for good lung health chicho don't smoke cigarettes don't smoke cigarettes uh, doing cardio for sure um, I think there are certain foods um, and by the way cannabis from what I understand what I know cannabis opens up the pores in your lungs so it's a good way to allow yourself to get more oxygen into the lungs and stuff like this uh, don't quote me on this don't you know <laughs> don't say chicho said it was okay to do um, but a lot of athletes do smoke cannabis i know the top athlete uh, swimmer in the world uh, smoke cannabis and a lot of bodybuilders weightlifters and stuff like this so i think that's supposed to be good for the lungs um, yeah and if you live in a polluted environment don't live in a polluted environment right get out if you can a troops how are you doing hey chicho I'll be, I'll be in a stream. I'm at work right now. Okay, awesome. Thanks for, uh, thanks for popping in. Uh, and again, this is going to be most likely the first segment of the stream we do. We'll probably do again later on in the afternoon. Uh, do another stream because I don't know how many books we're going to list today. Because I do want to walk you through the process. Okay. Twitching Jason, how are you doing? Morning, afternoon, Chicho. Hey, chat. Hope everyone's super well. Welcome, welcome, Anna. How are you doing? Did you have your cigarette face you show? Uh, Eduardo, I smoked for a week in high school. And everyone who knows me, this topic comes up, they know. I smoked for a week in high school in grade eight when I was like 13 years old. And to me, I, right away I figured out this was a scam. Uh, it cost me money. It stunk. Like your clothes, your hair stunk. It didn't have any beneficial side effects. Uh, like cannabis it had actually bad side effects and I just let you know I was partaking in cannabis before uh, I even tried cigarettes 
uh, after a week of smoking cigarettes, I looked at her one. I said, you guys are all stupid. <laughs> I'm like, through the cigarettes, not a good, you're wasting your money on this. Why are you smoking this crap? There's other things to be had that don't stink, don't cost you. Well, might have cost you as much or a little bit more. But say no to cigarettes and say yes to cannabis, Hannah. Hey, Chicho, hope you're well. Doing well, super nice. Doing well. Curious, Devin. Hey, Chicho. I like the new camera angle. Thanks. We've been doing this for uh, for a few streams now, this this area. Uh, it's nice. I like it here. Uh, smoke free for one year already. Awesome. Is smoking cannabis better if I have damaged lungs because of I don't know. Don't quote me on this. And I used to think, like, one of the things that came up during a, a Discord chat uh, just today where someone... Uh, someone was mentioning politics you know how do you and they mentioned that you need to know your stuff and whatnot right but even how well however well you think you know your stuff you still probably are uh, mistaken misinformed or propagandized regarding certain topics i know i am or i have been and i'm pretty sure i am still i used to think it was a good idea if you were a cigarette smoker to also smoke cannabis because cigarettes contracted the lungs to a certain degree and cannabis opened up the lungs um, but then i found out that you don't want to smoke cannabis if you're a cigarette smoker this is what i what i believe right now i might be mistaken as well because if you open up the lungs when you're smoking cigarettes then that that poison from the cigarettes the tar the nicotine the benzene the chemicals the pesticides and tobacco will go deeper into your lungs and that does more damage so you know lucky for me i don't have to really think about this too much because i don't smoke cigarettes but i have loved ones that do and i try to they know people know me i i detest cigarettes and i i i, I stopped hanging around certain some of my friends because of cigarettes and i've told them so so cannabis helps your lungs <laughs> if it's on the internet it must be true yet <laughs> do cbd drops open up the lungs i don't know hello chicho hello starsky how are you doing good afternoon chicho good afternoon thank you for the twitch prime sub uh pellegrinu x pellegrinu x pellegrinu x i have no idea how to pronounce your name brother or sister Eduardo, I think cigarettes is a very social thing, like smoking and having a beer with friends. The problem is nicotine is very easy to get addicted on, yeah. And the chemicals in cigarettes. Like I smoke cigars every now and then, right? I haven't smoked cigars for many, many, many years. I and mean, I never smoked cigars inside the house because I would stink. But there was a period in my life where I smoked cigars. And when I smoked cigars, I would go to a cigar lounge and I worked as, in a Cuban cigar store for about a year and a half because I wanted to be around cigars. And I was dealing in cigars a little bit uh, for a good part of the decade. Uh, but cigars is different than cigarettes. Uh, Cuban cigars, they don't use pesticides or organic, natural, and all that jazz. But you don't inhale cigar smoke, even though you get secondhand smoke coming in. And it's not good for, you know, it's not a good thing to do, but it's way less damaging than cigarettes. Uh, so if you want to smoke as a social thing, why not cigars? organic natural cigars uh, when even I smoke some good kush I feel my whole spine and shoulder shoulder bones I'm made uh, I'm made curious of my posture and the way um, the bonds are laid out yeah my yeah 100% Starsky for me to how the message da -da 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 -da. twitching Jason I had a French teacher in middle school well I gotta allow that just twitching Jason um, you must have used the word that's uh, not allowed twitching jason so nicotine that's true sympathize you too just join the crossfit gym nice i'm a smoker man not cigs or cigars but e-cigs i need to cut that sh yeah top fiver i heard i don't trust them the e-cigarettes i really don't trust them uh, that's my take hey nicholas how are you doing hey chicho hey chat sorry i have missed the last two streams. no no worries brother i caught them afterwards apologies but i'm going to have to miss this one to no worries oh nicholas listening comic books the comic book street remember the girl i said i met when i was in travel yeah 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 well i'm spending some time with her oh 
she came to visit you sweet man sweet good thing came out of that uh, came out of that trip eh fantastic fantastic i hope you guys have a fantastic day i took five, my five month to get that when i'm going to have a smoke nice get out of my head i had a french teacher in middle school who told uh, she got caught smoking cigarettes as a young girl so her parents forced her to eat a cigarette Ooh, crazy she never did again after that how do you feel about uh, cigars or pipes well i like the smell of pipes i've never smoked uh, i love the smell of pipes and cigars uh, yeah i had partaken in again i haven't smoked cigars for probably like 10 15 years now the cigarette industry is vile yeah insane how much they misled consumers with that yeah and the kicker for me fascar is this tobacco is a medicinal plant it, it has been used uh, by shamans and in tribal rituals for centuries if not millennia right as a spiritual thing and grounding thing and medicinal thing right and the tobacco industry took this plant that was supposed to help people and turned it into the one of the largest killers of humanity ever right that to me just the politics of it prevents me from even um, being tolerant of cigarettes sorry about that not sure what word i must i don't know either but no no worries Autom automation is automation right it has hiccups and it will always have hiccups yeah i really don't trust the cigs uh, because of that da, da, da. i had a french teacher in middle school too she was smoking <laughs> smoking hot here <laughs> still i'm afraid to smoke from a bong bong looks dangerous and um from what i understand again that uh, we're supposed to really talk about cannabis but uh, the damage done to the lungs a huge chunk of it is the heat from the smoke so a lot of people smoke from bong to cool down the heat right but bongs are heavy uh, double elvis what's up chicho double elvis how you doing great to see you live again it's been interesting uh, to follow your eb project yeah i'm loving it it's really cool it's really cool the data is a little skewed for sure and we'll talk about that later but uh just because i have people on ebay and here that are uh, bidding as well they're coming so i'm diverting some people from there so it's not just blank going in there on ebay but that's the nature of the business i was planning on doing sort of a anonymous version but it's just too much work yeah bro she's something special see you all soon see you later nicholas say hello to your new girl from chat on twitch or maybe not maybe she won't be into this no 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 don't say anything don't say anything uh, i'm facebook friends with my middle school teacher <laughs> Uh, some shamans snort tobacco yeah are you a tracy chapman fan i used to watch tracy chapman the comedian right the tracy chapman show the first show she ever put out is or is tracy chapman the singer no Tracy, that's something else chapman tracy chapman is a singer the black girl i can't remember now uh, i liked her cigarettes coffee alcohol just some uh, ba, 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 ba. so what's the plan for today okay here's the plan for today i'm gonna get off the get off yeah singer yeah 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 i used to listen there's it, the first album she put out i had i used to listen to that uh so i'm gonna move away from any tobacco ayahuasca <laughs> there's ayahuasca coming up uh water discussion plastic uh do some comics because we'll see where we get to right so in the month of july let me give you a little lowdown on this in the month of july i listed 50 comics ebay had a promo has a promotion i guess uh, every every month you get 50 free listings right so far anyway we've done it one month and i see the next month in august we have 50 as well so i listed 50 comics and i've sold let me let me check I, uh, we ended up selling 34 and 16 of them are cycling through right they're getting relisted automatically okay and uh there's there's some that's the nature of the beast with ebay some comics uh they get listed no one buys them and then they get relisted and then a few people bid on them and they go for higher right so i had a couple of comics relist themselves automatically because they didn't sell 
And then when it came up again, and it was a couple of people bidding on them, and it went higher than what it was going for, right? So that's the nature of the beast on eBay. If you don't, if you're not a huge volume person, then, and that's one of the reasons I would end up buying uh, from people that uh, are listing individual collections, and they're not, uh, you know, they're not into the thousands uh, and selling hundreds of books and stuff like that, because they're lower volume, and usually you can get comics at a better price from people that don't sell very many comics, right? Oh, I watched Batman Hush too. That was pretty good. I hadn't read the series, so I didn't know who Hush was. It was super cool that it was. I won't say it because it's a spoiler. <laughs> it was good. And I watched, by the way, I watched Endgame last night. Avengers Endgame last night. Pretty good. Pretty good. Different than Infinity Gauntlet, the series, right? Uh, what up? Sauce. 321. Sauce 123. Uh, so... There's 16 comics we already have listed on our eBay page. And here's our eBay page. Well, that's my whatever, but I'll link it up to you guys on chat. And let me show you the angles. <laughs> uh, Liam Dent, it somehow appeared <laughs> on my computer. So I ended up watching it. And it appeared on many people's computers a few days ago. Um, so that's my eBay page. That's what we have listed so far, right? Or whatever is left over from July. Okay. And let me show you the angles that we're going to end up using. Let me do this. So I got an angle set up here. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me turn this on. <laughs> from my eyes. I used to so here's another angle where we're going to be putting the the comics right and taking pictures of them i gotta i'll show you the computer angle here i'm going to turn this on but to do that i have to turn this and we're going to use this screen because i'm going to show you guys um here i'll just keep this page hold on i'll get to do this i gotta do a blank top and a bottom because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the display as well. Okay. And if I move this guy back out, that's our eBay page, right? And I'm gonna show you, um, hopefully anyway, when we do the listing, I wanna show you the, the process of me going through the listing. And we're gonna check out prices before we list the stuff and uh, what they're going for. So I use my comic shop uh, for this stuff right and you can do a search here uh, for example um, I don't go, go boy. well actually go go boy go go boy go go boy number three I know number three is on uh, on my comic shop right the number one and number two and the ash can aren't on my comic shop there's nothing available in my comic shop but if you look for books then you see what there might be going for. So for example, let's do this. Ghost Rider number one. Hopefully you guys are seeing this by the way. Let me make sure this is appearing. Yeah, and I've got black on the top and at the bottom because there's some personal stuff that might be showing up on the pages and I don't want those to appear. And uh, you know, it's the layout of my page. So I'd rather have it blanked out just in case other things are popping up, right? So I believe we're going to be listing Ghost Rider number one because someone there's uh, because of all the books that we listed, there's some three or four people have bought some stuff and they said they're also looking for other things as well. And I know a couple of people or one person was bidding on uh, one of the comics, Go Go Boy number one, and he's been outbid a couple of times. So um, people have been saying what they're looking for. So the odds are we're going to be listing Ghost Rider number one, right? And you can go on my comic shop and do a search for Ghost Rider number one. This is the first series, and there's other Ghost Riders, of course, right? And um, this is the one that we're going to be listing. And right now it says on my comic shop is available in very fine to near mint for seventeen fifty, right? The other place that I use to price things up. There are other websites. Um, I'll show you the eBay one as well. Uh, 
comic price guide and this is this isn't of promoting them or anything like this ghost rider it's just the pages that i end up using number one so you can do a search for ghost rider and then issue you have to put down here and you do a search and it pops up it should pop up blah, 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 blah. come on okay it's taking all this own sweet time there it is so we got a so you zoom down there's a Ghost Rider Western, by the way, this guy. I have that that series as well. I have Ghost Rider number one, right, the, from the 1973. And Ghost Rider, the cowboy one, is from 1950. And this is the 1990, right? And this one, it says in near mint condition, you can click on it. Near mint condition here is selling for like $12. That's what it says, right? And this is just, remember, this is just a guide. And then you can click. Here, let me show you. Just navigate through. You can click on the Ghost Rider here. Come on, get out of the Ghost Rider here uh, in the top, and it takes you to the series that you're interested in. And you can price out the issues. For some reason, the website here is slow. You can price out the issues, and it tells you how much they're going for in, you know, 9.4, 9.8, and all of that jazz. And the other thing we're going to do is here, let's go to here, just open it up in a new tab. So, for example, these are the listings that I have right now, right, on my uh, eBay page, the comic. There's 16 books that didn't sell in the first round, and they still have bids on them, right? Spawn number eight, lo uh, local parameter special, and if you scroll down, we'll see other one. Go, 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 boy, number three, have a bid on them, right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the search. Okay, so if we can do a search, for example, it goes... Rider number one, 1990. Oops, number one, number one, 1990. And we'll click on it. Oh, yeah, because it's searching for my this eBay city. It, it was actually, it's not a bad option. You can search a certain seller. So I just went to eBay main page. I do a Ghost Rider number one search, and there's one ending in 52 minutes, and it's listed for $2.30 six cents it's got a bit on it right and then there's ghost rider one to 42 and verify minus to verify the fraud blah 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 so you can do a search on this here's a ghost rider number one that's the one we'll most likely be listening today um going for this much and then there's you know here's one for 26 blah 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 now this is what they're being listed for now what you can do here is here should we add this to our watch list let's see what it sells for in 52 minutes if we remember, we'll check on it. We'll add it to our watch list, okay? What you can do is go on the side here in the top right corner and in the search hit advanced. And we wanna, if you come down here, here's goals right up top, and we're gonna look, click on this thing here, the sold listings and do a search. And it tells us how much the books are selling for, which is really what we're looking for, right? Um, we're not looking for how much people are listing it for, what they want. We want to see how much they're selling for. So here's one, Ghost Rider number one, in near mint condition, 9.4, that was listed for 16.50 and best offer was accepted. And this is the Canadian website that I'm using, okay? So apologies if I'm not checking out the chat game um, because I sort of want to run through this and get our books up. I love your plants, thanks. You mean that's true. true. Uh, wasn't Toy Story based on ah, 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 double uh, setup, my four inches? Okay, cool. Nothing I've missed so far. So uh, here's a one that was graded, CGC graded 9.8. With bidding, it went for $229, right? So that's pretty good. The copy I have should be a pretty sweet copy. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure if we're going to list it because the CGC 9.8 is going for that much. We could do a search. Um, we'll see what 9.6 is going for. Uh, here's one run. It's got a whole bunch that went for $40. Here's one that was a uh, very fine 8.0 that uh, it sold for 1826 Canadian, right? And if you want to find out the US prices, all you do is you go to the, let me see if that shows up. Oh, it doesn't show up in the um, thing image again. Let me let me do this uh, can I do that oh no I can't do that because it shows oh no we can do that here let me take off the black top uh, 
actually, let me do this. Let me grab it. And I'm just going to move it up until we see there. If you want to see dot com, right, then all you got to do is go up here and just do com and you'll see the US prices for the same books, right? So this one was 1250 a best offer accepted and that one near mint minus went for 425 and the one we're looking at was this one so it was 1385 us that it went for okay just wanted to show you guys that and hold on let me go back here let me make sure that's all covered up bring it down so that's what we're gonna do okay now the first book I want to list is let me turn off the display here let me turn off the display let me kill this uh, da -da -da. kill the display kill this kill this okay and I'm gonna do uh, display capture we don't want display capture I want to turn off the computer oh yeah um, Oh yeah, we can turn. <laughs> like there's so many stuff going on. I'm gonna turn this on. There we go. And what I have to do is bring this down, because I've got, I've got, this camera set up here. We got the camera set up here that's showing the comics, and we're gonna use the camera <laughs> for the computer. Okay, sorry if that's a little confusing. I hope nobody gets motion sickness. Uh, I just thought it'd be cool just to show you the whole process, the way I go about it, at least for one or two comics. And then later on, once we go through this thing, we'll come back and uh, uh, da -da -da -da. we'll come back and maybe do these Speedy Gonzales style. Okay. Da -da -da. Same here. They're sold uh, only on the bottom left too. They're sold on the bottom left too. Is there? So one of the books, good lord, Twitch with the ads. Oh, is Twitch kicking in the ads? Yeah, I, what I, one thing I've noticed, by the way, recently, gang, is the ads are becoming more dominant on a few different platforms. Um, for example, Twitter just upgraded their platform, and now my ad blocks and stuff is not working. And I see ads, so I keep on blocking them. So um, blocking certain ad companies, all of them, actually. So it's, it's so for some reason that, that's happening. I guess ad blocks has to uh, and ad blocks plus and the other things have to upgrade their system to compensate for Twitch uh, for Twitter stuff and whatnot. Uh, so let's do this. The first comic book we're gonna list is Google Boy number one because right now we got Google Boy number two, three, and the Ash Can up. And Google Boy number one has been selling. So far, we've sold two of them. And I know one person is trying to get their hands on them, but they've been outbid twice so far. So I really, I, I would have to wait until, because we used up our 50 free listings. I stop blocking uh, Twitch ads. Oh, is it nice? They suck. Uh, we, the, I used up all the 50 listings I had for free in July. So... I told the person that uh, for sure what we're gonna do is list, bring up Google Boy number one, the first thing that we list for August, <laughs> okay? Because uh, he's been trying to get a hold of it, trying to get his hands on it, okay? So we're gonna list Google Boy number one first. So let me move my, bring my chair. And I have my boxes set up here, by the way. These, and I sort of break, break up the, what I'm doing with just plastic bags, with this on them, with the, boards with plastic bags on them. So I know these ones here, um, I've already listed. These are contain, I guess the 16 that haven't sold yet, plus they contain a bunch of comics that the sellers have asked me to hold on on shipping until they buy more books because they've seen the video or I told them what else I'm gonna be listing or they missed out on 
one of the other comics that was listening because it was there was a handful of them that were being a bit higher right than what my minimum was a fair bit higher some of them right um so they missed out on them they asked me if i had additional copies i said yeah so they've told me to hold off on shipping what they bought so far so they can save on shipping okay so this much these guys in the front we've already listed these ones here i've already taken pictures of but i haven't listed yet i don't know if we'll list them today or not uh, one of them is mortal coil the ash can that's one of my comics right and then i have the robin two sets the set of number ones and then the one two three packaged up i've taken pictures of these already um, but i'm not sure if i'm going to list them right now today yet or not i want to walk through the process of listing these things with you guys at least a couple of, uh, at least two or three comic books right so i want to list this one right now and we've already sold two of these okay and they went uh first one went for uh, twenty dollars and fifty cents and the second one went for i think twenty six dollars okay and this is canadian prices i'm mentioning so we need to get this guy up and this guy is going to be relatively easy to load up because what ebay does when you sell a comic or you've listed a comic or you find a comic you're doing a search ebay has the option where it says sell similar right so you can just click on that and it fills up some of the things and then you can fill up the rest, add pictures and whatnot. So we, since we've already sold two, I'm just gonna sell similar and take you to the page. And once we get there, uh, I'll show you the process, all the fields of how to fill out and whatnot. But first thing we need to do is take pictures of this. Now the sun is shining, so I have to put a blocker here. So we're gonna lay down the comic here and take a pic. But let me do this. we're blocking out the sun and what happens with the sun shining it gives it glare and some of the times I've had to take pictures because the glare looks like the papers have been fading or the comic is not in really good condition right so and I'm using just a phone to take pictures okay so let me show you how I do this. So pull channel 13. All right, I take out the comics like this with the board, right? And I place them down. I hold them like this and I place them down like that on the board. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch up the angle so you see what I'm doing on the table here. Okay. Uh, let me do this, do this, right? So what I end up doing is Basically, bring the comic out here, right? Put these guys over. Bring the camera, right? This guy should be on. Right? And what I do, I take a picture from the top. I take a picture here, 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 here. I take a picture from the side here to show the spine. And I flip this thing and I take a picture of the back. We're allowed 12 pictures, but I think that's sufficient to show the grade uh, for the comic. And right now, black covers, they give serious glare, right? So I'll show you what the pictures look like once we take them. focusing on black this is one of the hardest ones to take pictures of the black covers okay and then we go like this Now, if I'm going to flip it, I usually grab it like this, right? And I take the comic and I flip it like this, right? 
So handling the comic as little as possible. Okay. Might as well take pictures of the the white side as well. Why not? So we've done what we need to do. And the grades on all of these, the Google -Go Boys and all the mermaid comics, you can take a look at it. Take a look. Uh, here. Let me show it to you. Right? Show it to you the way you would look at it. You should look down the spine of the comic, right? To see if there's any major dense or whatnot oh one thing i forgot to do for these guys jeez now these guys a lot of the most of the books i have for mermaid the staples have rusted oops right because i've had to move around a lot i'll show you what it looks like as soon as we take because i gotta take a picture of the way come on focus Rough comic book. The artwork is rough, but the story is so solid for this. So solid for this. Right? So solid for this. Okay. Now, so most of these I'm grading at, at 9, 9.2. Okay. So you can take a look at it. And it's white pages and whatnot. The only flaw in these is the rusty staples. And there's bleeding a little bit from the rust onto the sheets, okay? Onto the pages. So let me throw this back. And then what I do is I just grab tape and close it off. And ta-da. Okay? So let me switch up the camera angle we got this we got this this is most intriguing <laughs> nice hello chicho great lasagna how are you doing csi chicho comic services investment <laughs> so what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug this guy into the thing so you're going to hear a beep, beep. okay Now I have to transfer over the files, the pics from the. Actually, let me make sure we're still streaming. This didn't mess things up. No, we're still streaming. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. So let me do this. Go to. And we're not gonna. What do you call it? Take pictures of each one and then uh, do them over. We'll probably pick like. After this one, we'll probably pick like five books, take pictures of five books, and then list five books in one go, right? Sort of automate the whole thing. But let me bring it here. And I have different folders set up for these things and whatnot. So I'm gonna bring these guys, transfer these guys over, move over. Again, hopefully we're not losing the stream doing all this stuff. I have a ferret of things plugged into the computer right now, right? So we're gonna go here, awesome. Okay, so that stuff is there. Let me go to my eBay page and do a cell similar. Um, where are we? Yeah, let's go here. Sural salt. And we're going to go here. And I'm not showing you this 
process right now because uh, eBay's listing of things that have sold it has people's names in them so I, I can't show you that process there's some some of the pages I can't show you I'm only going to show you the um, where we list the stuff okay filling in the fields and list and then we can take a look at it and then I'll give you guys a link and it should appear within a few minutes couple of minutes okay so I don't want to privacy wise and stuff like this I don't want to uh, I want to make sure I'm staying clean with this right so on my sold eBay page I can you know it says how much it went for and stuff like this and there's a little thing here that says sell similar okay so we're gonna come here I'm gonna put this guy here and I should put this guy here sell similar cool okay now let me show you what we got let me just check check the chat again just in case if there's any questions or anything okay everything's going good good stuff now take a look at this um, oh yeah I gotta turn on these guys so let's turn on do this in the proper order we want to turn on the computer we're gonna turn on mask black mask display turn off the bottom one turn this guy down so you can actually see me right and I'm gonna actually I'm gonna do this a little bit more okay so let me show you what we got so I'm gonna take down oops and that's our eBay page right so this is what we got now this comic is the same comic as the one we sold here okay Google boy number one first first LGBT comic book uh, superhero series it should be monthly superhero series 1995 murder of rare but I need to get rid of these pictures and load on the new pictures uh, I forgot I need to I need to turn off the display for a second because I need to grab the stuff, the pics, but I don't want to go through my whole folder naming system, right? So let me make this blank. Let me load up the pictures, add from computer, and we're gonna do open. Okay, cool. And then let me turn on display. And then close this off. So the pics are loading right now, right? Now what I have to do is organize these, put the pictures in the proper order and flip them so they look right, right? And then I start off from the top left corner and I go around. So you'll see the pattern, the stuff I'm using. So I go like this, bring that, flip it. And then this one, top right corner, flip it. Bottom right corner, flip it. Uh, bottom left corner, just not flip it rotate it and then I show the spine okay which is legit that's good and then we go to the back okay and then we got the back top right corner is the back necessary possibly I, I don't know they allow us to load on 12 pictures so might as well And then this guy and then the last picture oh it didn't allow me to load on anyway I took two pictures of the staple but it only allowed me to I used up all my uh, pics top right we could eliminate one of the side pictures to show the other staple but the other staple looks like this like rusty and with rusty staples when it goes through there's a little bit of staining not all of the comments but I'm not gonna go through and check to see which ones the rust is on the paper which one the rust is not on the paper so that's what I'm presenting just so people know what the rust looks like right and all of this stuff it filled in automatically that you see here right these guys here because I had already filled them in before so publisher mermaid publications year 1995 certification I don't know certification grade I'm giving it a 9.0 okay and then I qualify it in the bottom right in the description and we'll take a look at that issue number one 
Main character is Gogo Boy, publication date 1995. And then what are these guys? Modified items, no series. I guess we can fill this in, say Gogo Boy. Gogo Boy, right? Oops. Boy. Don't forget the hyphen. <laughs> right? Gogo Boy. Country, it's just Canada, United States, and blah, blah, blah. Here's the description I had from the previous one we listed, right? I'm going to keep it the same because they're all the same. Okay. Google Boy number one, January 1995 by Mermaid Publications. Fills. First LGBT comic book superhero monthly series, extremely rare, which it is. Okay. Grade, I called qualified. Here, let's open this up. If I do this, it opens up more. Just give it a space. So grade, I said qualified. Very fine near mint. 9.0. I put a little asterisk. Never been read this copy, right? And in the qualified, I said this, please note that there is rusting on the staple of seat picks and none of the other comics that I'm selling other than Mermaid have this qualification in them because none of the other ones have rusty staples. They're all really sweet copies, right? Uh, in general, there's, there's staining on the, on the paper touching the staple. So uh, note that there is rusting on the staple, staple seat pick or picks. Uh, there's staining on the paper touching the staples. Based on what I have been able to find, this will reduce the grade by 0.5 to 1 to 1 1.5. Re replacing rusty staples is also considered to be conservation, not restoration, which is cool because you're not restoring anything, you're just conserving it, right? And I have a link uh, for CGC. Let me give this to you. And I include this, but eBay always takes it out. So let me put this up in the chat. So if you guys want to look into this further. Uh, Joker knows Bruce is Batman, but he only sees Batman. All we see is G. John. <laughs> Everyone's watching in silence. Uh, what are the most sought after comic comics price wise? Oh, there's so many sought after comics, man. So many sought after comics. I think everybody would be willing to give up their whole collection for Detective Comics 27 and Action Comics number one. I don't know it was the first LGBT superhero comics. Uh, that's so cool. Uh, yeah, comic book series. I say comic book series because I believe gay comics that came out in 1978 is sort of an anthology. It was humor based and whatnot. And they, um, they probably did some superhero version, little spoofs and stuff like this. And they might have been just random, like funny or more adult oriented uh, superhero gay comics uh, but they weren't like this they weren't superhero monthly comic book series like this is Google boy has super speed this is mermaid publications flash in the LGBTQ universe right or in our world but a lot of the main characters were LGBTQ right um, like Invisible Lesbian and Gogo Boy and some of the other characters. It's an important book as far as I'm concerned. I'll tell you guys the history of it in the future, okay? And then I have, and I've already shared a little bit of it uh, previously, but there's a fair bit of stories that stuck with me that taught me a lot about uh, this world we live in, right? Uh, and I say shipping, Canada, United States, $10, Europe, $20, others, please uh, contact me for cost. I do combine shipping at $1 uh, for each additional comic. All books are bagged and boarded and will be packed carefully uh, to prevent damage. Now, one other thing I'm going to do. Um, here's something that I added uh, because people were paying me right off the bat. So I'm just gonna go here and grab, I can't do cut and paste for some reason. Please look at all of it. No, 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 no. Uh, where is the shipping? There it is. All the, oh, I didn't add it to this one either. Oh, pooper, super. Uh, tracking. No, I wanna add something that I added. I need to add them for those as well. I don't think this one has it either. No, let me go down further. I wanna add this sentence because some people were paying me right away and then ebay automatically charges the like if you look at this i charge ten dollars canadian for shipping to canada united states right but then i'm specifying the shipping for
further down, right? Uh, and what was happening was people that were buying multiple items, they were paying right away and eBay automatically was charging $10 per book, right? Which I didn't want to charge $10 per book for shipping because I combine shipping and I say it's only $1 for each additional book. So I've added this sentence in most of the listings. I thought I added it to all, but I didn't know. I'll have to adjust. So what we're gonna write in the description of what we're listing right now is, please wait for final invoice if you purchase multiple items. Thank you, right? So unfortunately, I really can't cut and paste it. eBay, this thing does wacko stuff, right? It grabs some of the properties from the other page and tags them on here. So what we're gonna do is say, please wait for final invoice if you buy multiple lists things. thank you if you buy geez, if you buy multiple listings and what I do have is a text-to-speech reader and I won't do it to, you know I highlight it and then I go like this and I go read text like so I have text-to-speech reader more open source than another computer uh, so blah 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 and then this is something I'm adding for mermaid comic stuff which is the description of the comic what's in this story right um, I'll read it to you guys just in case uh, you're interested story summary and this is uh, a promo thing that I sent out uh, here let me show you the promo thing that I sent out Now this is a flyer that I sent out to hundreds of a couple of thousand comic book stores because the main distributor Diamond Comics refused to carry Google Boy and Eye for an Eye and more to, uh, and Starry Night. Our take was it was hardcore censorship because the distributor, all the other distributors at the time, there was 12 Diamond Capital and there was like 10 other main uh, secondary ones, smaller ones. Everybody carried it except Diamond, right? So, and then during the distributor wars, all the other distributors went bankrupt. <laughs> and only Diamond was left, right? So this is the promo that I was sending out to comic book stores. It was crazy stuff I was doing. Right? So this is what I had. And it had a little description of what the story of each one was, right? And this is uh, the story that we wrote down here. If these are the gay 90s, so quote, if these are the gay 90s, then here's a, he's a hero for our times. The go-go dancer with super speed. The one person that you won't believe is a superhero. He's the only man standing in the way of total control of the city by the conglomerate known as crap. Corporate criminals, rednecks, and politicians. With the help of other superheroes such as Power Tool, Spunetra, Number Woman, and the Invisible Lesbian, he will try to rid the city of crime and put a stop to crap schemes and the evil creations of the insane scientist, Dr. Diato. Okay. And the city that Google Boy is based on in is Vancouver, British Columbia, my home city, because the creator of this comic book was from Vancouver. Okay. And then I have notes regarding grading. I'm just going to check the chat again record for you amazing <laughs> I'm laughing my ass off and seriously the story in Google Boy when he was writing it in the 1990s like I'll tell you the story of this in the future more in depth he knew uh, what he was talking about it's an important uh, story it was about gentrification corporation taking over land uh, uh, kicking people out, um, hiring thugs to get rid of the homeless, uh, displacing people, real estate prices, uh, hoarding, like it was crazy, right? 20 years later, we see that happen after the 2008 financial collapse where the banks were buying everything up and stuff, right? So that's the story of Google Boy. And then the grading stuff, and this is the rest of the stuff, everything except, um, the qualified, which is this part here, right? 
were because of the rusty staples on qualifying my grade, right? And the summary, everything else is the same with all the other listings, right? Uh, and if I make any changes to one, I try to make the changes to the other. Oh, I'm going to change this one too. I'll show you uh, another change we're going to do. And then for the grading, I say this. Please note that I have been a private comic book collector and aficionado for 30 plus years. I am not a licensed CGC or CBCS grader. So all grades are my personal opinion. Please, here, let me put a little space here. It's touching it. Please look at all the pictures provided to decide on the grade yourself. Let me know if you need additional information or would like additional pictures and I will gladly provide them. Okay. Tracking. I have to change the tracking on this. For orders over $50, tracking will be provided. And I've been providing tr a tracking for or orders that are above 40, that come close to 50, right? For or orders less than 50, please include an initial $5 if required tracking. Shipping and tracking is expensive. So for the new comics, for the new listings, I've changed this up. I've changed it up to this. For the United States, you know what? Let's see if we can copy and paste the whole thing down. I can copy and paste paragraphs from one to the other, but copy and pasting lines just messes things up. So I'm going to copy and paste this. And this is for one of the books we have up right now, which is X Factor number five, first cameo appearance of Apocalypse, right? And I graded this thing in 9.4, 9.6. Uh, so what I'm going to write down, hopefully this isn't going to mess things up tracking uh, let's paste this the text changed size <laughs> right 18 i don't know let's change this let's change it to 16 let's see if it's gonna do it is it 16 oh my god it keep, oh did it do it okay it did it sort of it's different text but whatever we'll take it okay i'm not gonna mess around with this too much uh da -da -da -da. So this is what I'm saying for tracking. After doing all the shipping, I've upgraded my tracking info. For the United States and Canada, tracking will be provided for orders over $75. For orders less than $75 within Canada and United States, please include an initial $10 if you require tracking. For all orders to Europe, please include an additional $20 if you require tracking, which is actually the tracking cost like $22. Like, it's crazy. If you send it in a different way, tracking costs $40. It's like, what? So I'm oh, sorry, guys, gang in Europe. That's what it's costing. The first month stuff, the extra cost of shipping uh, ate a certain percentage off the sales of these things. Okay. And then I have info regarding who I am. Who I am, uh, based in Canada, I'm a private collector with five star. Here, let's do boop, five star, 100% feedback rating and i've been an ebay member since 2002. i take pride in my positive feedback rating and will do my best to make sure you you're satisfied with your purchase feedback will be left once i know that you have received the books in received the books in our and received the books and are happy with your purchase everything that i list is my own private collection right now the reason i did this I wasn't going to do this until I talked to an eBay seller, the comic book store that um, we've been buying comic books from, right? He said what he was doing. He was, as soon as people paid, he was leaving feedback right away. And he came across a scammer that burnt him for over $1,000 because he would get the books and then he would say he didn't get the books or he would say the books aren't degraded, the, whatever it is. And the eBay leans towards the, the buyer, right? So he had to refund, he was getting charged back on these things and he had, he couldn't do anything because he hadn't, he had already left positive feedback on the guy, right? So what was happening is this guy was probably pulling the scam of a lot of people because if the sellers leave positive feedback, then the person probably the negative feedback rating is not gonna be very high. So people are cautious about this thing and he doesn't get flagged by eBay, right? And as far as I'm concerned, the transaction is over when the buyer is satisfied with what they've purchased, right? So once they're satisfied, they leave positive feedback, I'm going to leave a positive feedback. As an independent seller, I would recommend you do this because if you're not a huge seller, 
you can't bear the burden of people pulling a scam on you or, or trying to burn you, right? It's a fair bit of chunk, right? So that warning I put in there, right? And then I have a note. If your feedback rating is less than 95.8%, please contact me before bidding. I aim to please, but I do not feel like dealing with scammers. And unfortunately, there are some that are active on eBay. Treat others kindly and with respect, and you will be treated in kind, right? I was also gonna list stuff that, you know, if you, you're zero feedback and stuff like this, please contact me. But I realize some people, especially regarding Google Boy and new people or some people that follow my work, maybe they want to support me and stuff like this, buying conflicts, they wouldn't be active on eBay and they have zero feedback. And I've had a couple of people buy that has zero feedback, right? And I've sent the books, they're happy with them, they've left feedback or one of the people that left, left feedback, thank you for the trust, left feedback before I even sent out the books, right? And I told them, you know, it's a good idea, probably wait until you get the books to leave feedback, right? And then check out a payment, please wait until invoice before completing your purchase thank you and so far but people have been completing the purchase so the odds are people are reading everything good luck happy bidding and don't forget to check out my listing okay that's the description that i'm putting in and in general it's the same for all of them hey <laughs> there should be a canadian comic called it vancouver is full of crap vancouver is full of crap don't want to say it, it is big time right full of amazing things too, but because of gentrification and uh, money laundering in Canada, it's major issues. Now take a look at this. I'm starting the bid at 20 bucks. That's the minimum I'm willing to sell this for, right? And then what you can do is click on the more options. Now, when I first started listing, I didn't realize eBay automatically was putting allow offers so it was listing the price of $20 and then make an offer in the bottom, which if I'm putting a minimum, then why is it setting make an offer, right? It's not a buy it now and make an offer. It's the minimum and then make an offer. So it took me a little bit of actually searching to figure out where to change this, right? And then when eBay automatically relists stuff, they automatically click on this allow offers. So eBay has set up algorithms in there automatically to try to increase sales irrelevant of it being beneficial to you as a seller or not, right? So I click this off, no offer, right? If I do buy it now, I'll do make an offer. If I'm setting up a minimum as auction, no offer, right? Because I found this out as soon as someone's made me an offer, I was like, what's this, right? And then for shipping, there's a whole bunch of shipping, different charges, right? If you click on this, I'm going to unclick it, and you're going to see the stuff disappear. So if I unclick it, it all disappears. And then you click it, right? This thing here, the box, right? And then it says, choose, you know, change shipping. Then Canada Post, blah, blah, blah. Uh, change a fixed amount, regular parcel. I click this and I'm using a Canada Post regular parcel. No, it is Canada Post regular parcel, cool. So it automatically picked the one I had previously and I just put $10, okay. Offer free shipping, you pay. If I offer free shipping, I have to cover, kick off the cost. One of the reasons eBay is doing this, we'll talk about this. Hey, what happened? I don't wanna offer free shipping. Let's do this, $10, okay. One of the reasons eBay is doing this is because We'll talk about this in the future, but after do going through this first month of selling, I found out that eBay charges uh, money for shipping. They're actually taking a cut off the shipping price. So if I'm charging ten dollars, I forget what the call, how much I'm paying. eBay's taking a percentage off the shipping for themselves. <laughs> like, and I was like, what? Uh, and the reason, their excuse for doing this was because people were listing things that were worth $200 for $10 and then they were charging $190 for shipping. That way they were only paying eBay fees for $10 and not for $190, for the rest of the $190. So eBay introduced this thing to make sure people weren't able to scam eBay, right? But what they're doing is collective punishment, right? Instead of 
penalizing those people who are doing that thing they're charging they're collecting money skimming off the top for everyone shipping on eBay if they're not shipping for free and if you don't say for free you have to kick up your starting price and they collect money off that anyway right so it's crazy the shipping on eBay is insane right uh, that's one of the reasons I found out why people are using eBay's global shipping program which is a bigger scam than as an individual trying to figure out what the best way is to deal with shipping right and then what I do here is and we'll talk about this once we look at the spreadsheet and what what else I do is I go down here I don't have add a second shipping service I'm not gonna do that I'll just talk to people it's too complicated to do this but I'm gonna add an international shipping and what I do I go Canada post expedited parcel and I put ten dollars right okay so ten dollars Canadian for shipping to Canada and the United States and it doesn't offer me to offer other international shipping right so that's why I listed my shipping charges in the description of the, of the contact right and then I think we're done uh, but up uh, and I do a little check usually at the end and then we go uh, we can do a preview right so you can do a preview it pops up right ten dollars and then all the bold is not showing up it's showing you the link here but when you post it it doesn't show you the link so the preview on eBay is not exactly 100% what you see like for example here tracking is not bold but it should be bold right and there's no space between tracking and who I am so I'm gonna close this we're gonna go up here and there should be a space between there there is we we'll list it and we'll recheck to see if it did it right or not and then you go list right and you can also save it for later but we're listing it and it takes you here success your listing is now live sell more more to make more and then you can go view listing and I usually view the listing just to make sure everything came out okay and you can see here in the description oh the link stayed crazy eBay was taking out these links let's click on this CGC here's the CGC stuff regarding uh, CGC updated restoration grading scale and this is where I found the stuff regarding uh, staples like conservation repairs are tear spines staples cleaned or replaced blah 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 right and then uh, restoration is different color touches and whatnot anyway you guys can decide I don't know if the full listing is gonna have that this link was not there previously uh, and then you can see the tracking is bold and the space is there right and it's bigger text than the other stuff but it is what it is maybe at some point I'm gonna clean this up make them all the same text and put them up but I'm okay with this right now okay and that's our first listing and then you can go to uh, Chicho and click on this thing and then I don't think it's shown up yet it takes a few minutes for it to come into play so let me hear let me give you guys a like you guys will be the first ones to be able to click on it if you like Boink. so that's what it is okay S scams within scams scams within scams yeah 100% mister he is a Kaya and welcome to another live stream right so that is the process I go through to list this these books okay it's a fair bit and I'm explaining everything so it's a little quicker once I've listed stuff right so what I do now is here let me go back to our main thing main uh, display where are we um, video video let's turn this on and then turn the display off and then bring this guy down okay kill the top band kill the bottom band kill the little computer thing right now what I end up doing is as soon as I listed a book 
I take this thing and put it. Oops, let me move this thing so it doesn't make too much noise for you guys. Right. And then I take this thing and I put it in the section of the comic books that I've listed. Right? That way, if anything sells, I know that's where they are. Okay. And I don't have two copies of anything listed. Um, at the earlier ones over here, so the ones that I sold are here, like closer to the edge, and then goes on like this. And these are the books that I've already taken pictures. Now, I have people that have requested certain things to be listed, okay? And we have, uh, I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna be listing another set of the first cameo appearances of Doomsday and the first uh, full appearance of Doomsday and the second full appearance of Doomsday. Uh, people have requested this and once I get the chance, I'm gonna go through and uh, bring the Doomsday story line and list those. We already sold a set of these plus the bag edition. Okay. Um, and then, like what to list? Right. Uh, should we list the ghost? Ah, oh, the ghost rider. The kicker with the ghost rider is here's ghost rider number one. I put out, and it's a nice copy. This one I would grade. I'm just looking at the bag. We'll take a look at it later. Uh, most likely, or I might just list it. This one I would grade as like nine point four. Like it's near mint, right? But the person that asked for ghost rider, they wanted the other ones too. Right, so I have a whole bunch of ghost riders here, and uh, one to ten plus the fifteen, the glow in the dark, the first and second prints, and one person was looking for these guys as well. The Night Stalker, Morbius, Darkhold, all the bagged uh, Spirit of Vengeance stuff. So they said, you know, if I could list those as well. But that's a full-blown, um, like it'll take me longer to last those than our live stream right now. And I had one person wanting the spawn stuff. But let's do this. Let's list. Wow, should we give you guys a, what do you guys want to list? Here, let me show you what else I got. Here, uh, what are these guys? What should we list? First appearance of Bishop. I got these guys. I want to do a uh, what do you call it? Watch. Let's do this. Let me bring out the chat. You guys decide what we should list, and we'll do. Right. Very thorough. Do you have a comic in your collection that is your favorite? Uh, the stuff I published, the Gogo -Go Boy, Eye for an Eye, Starry Night, uh, and Lander, I have a huge fondness towards, uh, just because I know the creators, I know what it took. Um, as far as other publishers, yeah, I love, I love Lobo, Last Zarnia, take a nap, I know. <laughs> sweet dreams. Uh, there's so many comic books I love, man. I, I, it's hard to say. Uh, Lobo, Last Zarnian, oh, Omega Man number three, first appearance of Lobo. Um, uh, there's so many. Uh, the Valiant comics, uh, like this one. Archer and Armstrong number zero. One of my favorite series fantastic book and I'm gonna list this with Archer and Armstrong number one that kicks into unity right? uh, kicks into unity so I'm gonna list Archer and Armstrong number zero so first appearance of Archer and Armstrong very undervalued book very undervalued book okay and uh, what else There's a few. I mean, I'm listing some of the some of the books that I really care about, right? Uh, everything that I'm listing, I have other copies of. 
And I usually ended up buying uh, additional copies of things that I liked, right? Some of the stuff that was hot at the time was coming out, people were looking forward to, I would buy. But books that I really liked, I bought additional copies. Okay. Just because, uh, like I have a full set of, uh, what do you call that? Spawns here in Pictou as well. Oh, you know what? We're gonna list Infinity Gauntlet number one and Silver Surfer again. But let's list a couple of stuff that we haven't listed before, right? And remember, we only have 50 free listings for August. So I wanna put up, and if you're a seller, you should, in general, put up a selection, nice selection from a certain age, both key issues, hot issues, issues you love, and some other issues that you have additional copies of, right? Some people consider some of them to be fluff. I personally, uh, yeah, I, I have a fair bit of fluff like every other collector, but it doesn't mean they're not good comics, stuff that you didn't like, right? Just because their value is hasn't gone up, right? So here is some number ones and first appearances. So you guys decide, should we list Guardians of the Galaxy number one, okay? This is from uh, 1990, I believe. We'll do a search on it to find out. Can you remind us again what sort of data you're looking to collect with these comic book sales? I feel like I've missed that. I know you've mentioned something about calculating the return. Yeah, basically Twitch and Jason, we've bought a whole bunch of comic books. Here, I'll show you these guys too. Uh, New Warriors number one, first print. Okay, let me put these guys here. Basically, I wanna, uh, we bought a whole bunch of comics, right? Over the last five years. And the dude's hair is enormous. <laughs> yeah, this guy, yeah. <laughs> this is, I forget their names. I forget their names. That guy, right? Um, basically, uh, we've bought a whole bunch of comics in the last five, six years, right? At some point, we're gonna go through that and sell some of those so we can see direct comparison, right? So we've collected a whole bunch of data, how much it's costing us per unit to buy, per comic book to buy. And what I'm doing right now is I wanna show people what it takes really to optimize your thing. So we're gonna look at the sale price of these, how much the shipping costs, how much eBay fees are, how much PayPal fees are, um, and subtract that out and figure out how much we ended up paying for the books at the time we bought them for and everything here i bought at cover price right how much we bought them for and then take a look at how much profits are left and how we can optimize those profits return on investment because no matter what type of investment you investing you do that's what you do you buy something you sell something may it be stocks may it be collectible cars may it be land whatever it is right it's not just this buying price and the selling price that matters. It's all the cost in between as well, right? And all the joy you get out of it. That should be considered part of the profit, right? If you're investing in anything, okay? So here's New Warriors number one and number two, first and second print. The first print is the red, second print is the gold. I love this series, okay? Here's Dark Hawk, Dark Hawk number one. Some people think this is the first appearance. It's not. First appearance is more related something. Okay. We got the Mighty Thor, 433. Is the first appearance of, I forget this guy's name, Thor. We got Venom, Lethal Protector, number one. Okay. We got Excalibur from the 1990s, number one. And Twitching Jason, it's um, saying, gotcha, pretty cool. I used to do something similar with sneakers, actually, buying and flipping. Totally makes sense. Yeah, that's basically what I want to what I want to show, right? Uh, what I want to go through. Uh, and also, what it takes to list on eBay, just to show the process involved. Here's Wolverine Weapon X 72. 
is the first uh, Mar uh, sorry Marvel Comics presents Weapon X 72 is the first appearance of the whole Weapon X uh, the first arc of the whole Weapon X series right and it's Barry Windsor Smith for the first chunk of it here's Deathstroke from the 1990s number one Here's Wolverine number 41 and 42, Mark uh, Silvestri story with Sabretooth, Cable, and I think Rogue is in this too. Um, number one and number 42. So they'll be listed together. Okay. Here's. Uh, Venom. If we're gonna list Venom number one, we're gonna, and this is more recent. Venom number three is the first appearance of Claw, 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 the symbiote god, and this is the origin. So number three and number four, and they'll be listed separate, not together. This stroke has a great name and costume, yeah. And he goes between being a good guy and a bad guy. Got. Infinity Wars Prime, Helder brand variant, one in 25. And I ended up paying 25 Canadian for it. And I think this is going for like 40 maybe or something. So I'm okay with listing it, right? Here's Infin Infinity Prime, uh, the Thanos variant, right? First appearance, first three appearances of Bishop. Uh, Uncanny X-Men uh, 282, 283, 284 and for sure I'm going to list uh, another copy of Silver Surfer number 50 and Infinity Gauntlet number 1 so what we should do is Silver Surfer number 50, Infinity Gauntlet number 1 and these guys we need to sort of load them up together because if anybody's looking for uh, for these guys for anything related to Infinity Gauntlet, they might be interested in grabbing those as well. So you do want to sort of uh, list thing, list things in chunks. That's why I'm keeping within the same time period from the 80s to the 2000, 2010s. Wolverine number 50. So I'll probably list these guys together, sort of organize them, right? And Weapon X, this Marvel Comics presents there. Venom, these three probably load on back to back, right? And all the number ones, all the number ones here will load up, you know, one at a time together to back so if anybody wants to grab number ones they do and then these three I'm just gonna load as a lot one two three okay so what should we list first should we do the number ones of things yeah let's do the number ones of things that way we're only we'll take pictures of like five different comics at the same time so let's put these here I might change the order of things. We're not going to get a chance to load everything on right now. So let me put these guys here. Okay. Okay, let's load on Guardians of the Galaxy first. Okay. And we'll take a look at the grade on it as well. So let me change the angle. Right. And the price here is seven dollars. That's what I was when I was going to conventions, selling them for in conventions, um, in my booth, right? And check this out. <laughs> this is now in them books. See this here? That's the stamp that the comic book store I used to get my comic books from. Now and then books. And the owner of that place was Harry. And during a, 
I put out a video mentioning that I had the opportunity to buy Amazing Spider-Man number one, but I couldn't get the funds together, right? This was from his comic book uh, store, right? And he's he's very he was very well known. He passed away, uh, but while he was alive, he had the longest, the oldest comic book store in North America running, and he was really well known within the uh, comic book community. He even has an Eisner Award, I believe. Um, doing one of the things in honor of good retailers and stuff like this named after him and these are the old bags and boards so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this here and I'm going to I have new bags and boards so everything that I am selling is new bags and boards right so let me change the angle on this and then we'll uh, what do you call it we'll uh, do a listing on this so ba -ba 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 -da 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 -da. let's change this to there Oop. no it does that hold on a second there we go let's change this to this and we got the sun shining here so i'm gonna change this up somehow so we don't get the sunshine okay i gotta flip this guy There's gonna be a little shadow here, you can see, when we lay down the comic take fix, but it is what it is, right? So we'll bring this out, let's take a look. Okay. And these guys, we don't need them. Actually, let's lift it up. Let's see what the grade on this is gonna be. Okay. There is no spine creases or anything, right? Let's see if you can see. Right? It's a very nice copy, very nice copy. Right? We'll take a look at the back as well when we flip it. But what you can do is. It's a nice copy, beautiful copy. So this I would give us a nine point. Yeah, no, no, no creases. Nice. Okay, let's put this on. Take our pictures, right? Make sure you guys see it. Let's, oh, you're gonna hear a little dimming with the phone being taken out. Sorry about the noise, gang. So, let's take the pictures. <laughs> nice coffee. Let me bring up the boards. Fresh board. And a fresh bag. Once we're done, we're gonna so we're gonna grab it and flip it, right? Take a picture of all the corners too, why not? Should I take a picture? 
pictures as we do on it. Actually, how many pictures was that? That was one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think so. We got 12, I think. We can hold on. Now, taking a look at this. bit. Take a look. I don't know if you can even see it. Right? This is like a beautiful copy. Right? But there's a little bit of... Take a look at this. This guy here. Can you even see it? You'll be able to see it in the pictures, I believe. So just because of that, take a look. And there's a couple of folds, not folds, but what do you call these things? Spine stresses in the back, just a little, okay? Like not even. You can see it in the reflection a little bit, so let me see if I can show it to you guys. Let's see if you see it. Like, I'm being very picky with the gradings because I don't want people to be unsatisfied with the books, right? Like, I've been on eBay since 2002. I've never had a negative feedback, right? I don't even know if you can see them. Okay, <laughs> finally figured out how to put my Lego Quinjet back together. It was seriously bothering me. Nice. I can see it a bit. Yeah, okay, cool. Nice. So, let's flip this. This is... Let's do this. Okay, let me just read the chat. Dante, how are you doing? Got to head out here shortly, Chicho. Need to finish up some work. Awesome, man. Thanks for popping by. Do you have any upcoming streams planned? Nothing until later next week, brother. Nothing until later next week. Uh, probably next Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. And I'll announce like a triple stream again. You should have a, have a Mr. Glass policy in who you sell to. Mr. Glass policy? From Unbreakable? Martin does a great trilogy, by the way. Great trilogy. Unbreakable was amazing. Same with the last one. I still haven't seen the uh, thingamajig. The split. Okay. You can see it a bit. Okay, cool. Little bit of it, right? How much does this go for? I don't know. We're going to check the prices. I'm going to show you. I'm chilling with Jijo. Nice. So. What was Mr. Glass policy? I forget, he was selling a lot of original art. So that's Guardians of Galaxy number one. Should we go through the process of listing this? Let's go through the process of listing this before we take any more picks. Let me change the angle here. Let me change the angle. Just because it's a new thing. Oops, uh, where are we? Here we are. Let's turn this on, turn this off. Let me just read the chat. Uh, split was great, except for the super force ending. Yeah, I just, for me, I've watched Unbreakable. I watched the last one that he put out that completes the trilogy. Uh, I forget what it was called. That was fantastic, right? Split is just, just because the topic. Sorry about the noise, gang. It's the phone being connected to take transfer over the pictures just the topic matter is so it's so intense right that um, scares me right I don't want to go through those emotions it's pretty heavy duty right yeah glass yeah glass that's what it's called okay cool phenomenal movie one of the best superhero 
mind you, I haven't seen the second one. One of the best superhero, if the second one holds up even nearly as close to Unbreakable and Glass, Split, if it holds up to that, is one of the best superhero uh, trilogy ever. Okay. And it's not based on comic books, right? I loved Unbreakable. What an, an amazing movie. And people didn't give it respect, enough respect, right? It was fantastic. So let me do my folder here, transfer it over to pictures. And I need to go here and I need to do Guardians of the Galaxy. And I'm putting things in different folders, right? Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm gonna transfer over the pics there so we keep everything in order. Oops, oops. transfers in there. Okay, cool. Now, let's do this. Let's do this. What are we doing? Oh yeah, this is what I'm doing. No, I'm not doing that. I'm doing this. Okay, I won't see Bert. Brightburn just haven't got around to it. I don't know Brightburn. A guy comes in to buy a first edition comic, but Glass finds out it's for a kid. Oh, <laughs> he's like, don't sell him. That's right. I forgot about your son is the kid. No, haha, <laughs> yes. And he gets super pissed and says, no sale, bro. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Do you see any Teletubbies in here? Uh, Teletubbies? You mean the kitty shows? Do you see? Oh, yeah, that's right. He talks about that. Do you see a slender plastic tag clipped to my shirt with my name printed on it? Do you see a little Asian child with a blank expression on his face sitting outside on a mechanical helicopter that shakes when you put quarters in it? No. Well, that's what you see at a toy store. And you must think you're in a toy store because you're here shopping for an infant name jab <laughs> bright burn is what would have happened had superman uh used his powers for evil ah okay bright burn i gotta oh really i gotta watch that hey guys J jacoby how are you doing how's life bright burn i gotta remember that uh, mr hezekiah if you remember again please put it on discord and i'll look it up right so let's go through listing these things let me do uh let me do this okay i'm gonna put the black top on bottom top and let's put on the display and let's put on the video and that's our little thing magic okay so Let's open this guy up. We're on Twitch, but we want to go. This was Go Go Boy, Ghost Rider. So we want to do this. Um, oh, I got to open up the cell similar. Shoot. Let me, I got to turn off this part for a second, the display, because it shows uh, cell an item. Okay, I'm going to bring this guy here. And then we can turn on the display. Okay. So what we want to sell is Guardians of the Galaxy number one. I believe it came out in 1990. So what we're going to do, we're going to go here right now. And we're going to type in Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy number one. Okay. Do a little search on it. And scroll down until we find the series. Here's the series. So in very fine plus on my comic shop is selling for $34, right? Or listed for $34, $32 for very fine and stuff like this. And it came out in 1990, right? So I'm gonna grab this guy. 
Guardians of the Galaxy. We're going to do a price check here as well. Okay. Guardians of the Galaxy. Delete. We're going to do one. And we're going to do a price check on eBay as well. Okay. Guardians of the Galaxy number one. Slow, slow, slow. Come on. Okay. These guys have listed it for $25. A 9.4 near mint condition. Right? Let's do see how much it's selling for guardians of the galaxy 1990 number one let's see what it's going for right uh here's guardians of the galaxy in fine plus 6.5 sold for uh 24 50 and this is the uh, 2405 this is uh, it sold for a fair bit for graded a 6.5 that's expensive think personally right um, so it's sold for that much this one Guardians of the Galaxy very fine to near mint sold for 850 US right three copies of Guardians of the Galaxy very fine near mint mine is very fine very fine plus sold for 27 okay graded 9.4 is selling for 72 right so here's one sold for four six fifty so it's going for you know excellent condition what does that mean we have to check the grades on these as well uh, here let's take a look at this one sold for 20 bucks or best offer i guess it's sold for 20 bucks let's take a look at what kind of grade these guys were this i mean we already see a little thing on the side here so the one we have is around nine point oh this one sold for twenty dollars look at that major dings on them right so that was pretty expensive cgc at gym uh, valentino so it ranges oh this is signed by jim valentino near mint this one sold for three dollars let's see if it's in near mint condition right just do a price check on it And that's the only picture they provided <laughs> right so i don't know about this i don't like one picture just cover no angles okay so what we're going to do is we're going to list this thing in 9 9.4 9.6 9.6 9.9.9 9.4 i'm going to put 9.4 plus on it i'm going to list it for 15 dollars okay so what we want to do now is go to sell an item and go guardians of the galaxy number one and what do you want to sell so we're going to go here let's make sure those are set up yeah those are set up we're going to go here and we're going to go go all right and it gives you a whole bunch of choices and this came out in 1990 1990 right you see it up here and if you're selling it it says collectibles comic copper age it goes up to 1991 right and it doesn't have avengers you can list it as avengers or other copper age superheroes should we list it under avengers or other copper age superheroes hard to tell here let's do a check Let's see where the more expensive ones are being sold. Other copyright superheroes. I don't think the search thing matters that much, but here, let's see what this one's. This one's other copyright superheroes. Yeah, it's not Avengers, so other. Let's do it other. So we're gonna go click on this. Other copyright superheroes, doink. And it says, do you wanna list something like this? Yep, yeah, that's what we wanna list we don't want it cgc graded so we're going to pick this one okay sell something like this okay and we're going to go like this so we're going to change the title a little bit we're going to go guardians of the galaxy 1990 marvel comics marvel we're going to put in and we're going to go in description in my comic shop I'm going to read the description 
A Garden Sound is written by Jim Valen Valentino, art by Jim Valentino. So we're going to put the Jim Valentino on there. Right. Give people as much info as possible. Now, one thing we do have to put in is near mint uh, 9.4 plus I'm going to put in. Okay. And I'll put near mint. Well, oh, no more space. So we're just going to keep it near mint, near mint plus 9.4 plus. Ah, I can't put near mint plus. Near mint plus means 9.6. Right here. Look, okay, I'll show you. The comic book grading. You can open up this thing again. My comic shop I go to. So near mint. Oops. Mm -hmm. Let's kill it. So these two guys, right? Highlight it. Okay, did it highlight it? Highlight it. Okay. If you see this, nine point six is near mint plus, and nine point four is near mint. What do you guys think? Near mint plus or near mint? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let me bring up the chat. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Cheers, Chicho. Glad to get you live. Cheers. Be this. DC heroes are evil as well. Okay, Chicho. Got to run. Okay, Kira Stevan. Thanks for popping by. We're almost at this in two hours. This is crazy. Time flies. Fantastic weekend. You too. I see a scam seller. I have been scammed twice on eBay. Yeah, me too. Me too. My buddy back in the day got excited and bought a $5,000 monitor from Australia. No monitor ever came. Oh no. Near Mint Plus, Dante. Okay, we put Near Mint Plus. Both of mine were mobile phones. Both were invisible. <laughs> so should we put a near mint plus let's go near mint plus it is a nice copy like for me the grading is so whatever it is and it's the first appearance of taser face i believe let's see starhawk first i don't like all capitals let's make sure that is true i'm pretty sure it is true a lot of them say first appearance of taser face there it is. First appearance. First taser space. Taser face. Taser face. Matrix. Where's taser face, man? Let's do a little search. Find taser face. What? It doesn't even show up in that thing. So is it the first appearance of taser face? Who knows? I hope I'm not giving you guys a uh, motion sickness okay let's do taser face first taser face I actually don't know who taser face is who they're referring to let's do a search who's taser face oh this guy ah uh, he was taser face <laughs> nice <laughs> awesome I had no idea. That's cool. I don't even know who Taserface was. Cool. Now what I have to do is uh, just kill the a classic example of bad investment. Taserface. So let me do this. I do have to turn off the this guy. I'm just going to turn off the display for a second. And I'm going to load up the pictures. Oops. Add from computer, we're gonna load up Guardians of the Galaxy. Where are you? Guardians of the Galaxy, let's load these pictures up. Open. Okay, now we can turn the display back on. Okay, close this guy. So here are the pictures, okay. And we're gonna put this guy here. So this is the front cover, right? This is that and then we want this one and then we want the top where's the top guy oh no that is the top guy bottom right right and then bottom where is it there it is bottom left and 
then we want the edge. Do we take a picture of the edge? Oh, it didn't come up. We didn't grab it. We do have it. I hope we have it. Oh man, tell me we took a picture of the edge of it. Did we? If we didn't, we gotta do it again. So let me hold on. Let me turn the display off. Let me check this guy. I swear we had it. Oh, we didn't take a picture of the edge of it. See, this is what happens when I run through do it Speedy Gonzalez. We didn't have a picture of the spine. So I'm going to take a picture of the spine gang. My apologies. And do this. And hold on, let's do this. I'm going to turn these guys off. Um, Oops. Yeah, that's okay. And then we're gonna turn that one off. Where, where is that? Oh yeah, this oh no, chat box has to stay on. Where is it? Video. Oh yeah, video one. That's what it is. I'm looking at that guy. <laughs> Hilarious. We forgot to take a picture of the spine. Damn. There it is. No, it does not. Okay, we gotta take it out of the bag and take a picture of the spine, right? This has happened to me as well. Usually I try to make sure it shows that I just see it up, but it is what it is. We gotta take a picture of the spine. Right? So let's put this like this. And we gotta take a picture. You're gonna hear that click from the phone being disconnected. Click again. Blink. And let me cancel this. And we're gonna put this thing back, right? Another thing I do is I got these little guys, sticky things, right? I'm gonna put 9.4, 9.6 on it, okay? So anything that's not mermaid, I'm putting this on it. So whoever gets it uh, later on, they'll have an idea of what it is that they have. So 9.4, very gently, don't press too hard, 9.6, okay? And let's do this, let's go back to our listing. Let me load up the, my other picture here. Oops, hold on, I gotta transfer it over first. Guardians of the Galaxy. A lot of work for one comic book, okay? Goes faster when I'm not explaining everything, but going through the whole motion. And it is nice just to meditate on, right? And what I'm gonna do is, uh, let me load on the pictures. And what I'll do is I'll remove this guy and then add two more pictures, this and this. I'm gonna put here, I loaded on pictures. Let me turn on the display again. That way you guys see what I'm doing. Computer, let's bring this over. Black, black. Uh, let's display and black. Oops. So, and let's kill this guy off. Okay, and close this. So hopefully, we got make sure it's yeah and that's what it is okay so oops <laughs> i didn't want that open 
<laughs> Let's do this. So we got this guy. Let me crack this open. Okay. Oh, come on. What do we got? What do we got? We're over here. So I loaded on these two pictures. So we're going to go this. And bring this guy here. And bring this guy here. So we can take a look at that. One image of the spine. Here's the other. Just give it an angle. Right? And then we want the back cover. Right? And then just give the top. And this guy. And this guy. And that guy. Right? So we keep the same order. Now what we've got to do is grab the info from here. This is from the X factor, right? And I'm just going to take this and copy it all here. And the way you do that is here, let's fill up some of these ones. Great. What do we call this? 9.6, right? So I'm going to go 9.4. You can type in your own dash 9.6 uh, near mint dash near mint plus. Okay. It should do it. What are these options? Modification, publication date, 1990. Was it 1990? 1990. 1990. Series, certification, main characters, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. It's okay. Year 1990. Why is it publication date? And then what you do here, it's listed this, but you got to go change. And then I'm going to cut and paste what we had here, right? And what I got to do it right now is, is write all this in here. All right. So I'm going to go, I don't want to do cut and paste because eBay's, eBay's thing does wacko. Hey, oh, my U, I always do this. My U and A are backwards. Guardians. Oh, the galaxy number one, 1990 Marvel Comics first taser face uh, Avengers uh, Avengers movies tie in. Avengers, no, oh, no, we're not going to put Avengers. And then, uh, unread, and it is unread. First is a unread comic. Uh, unread issue. And we're going to make unread issue bold. Okay. Please six C pixels have never been read, 9.4, 9.6, grading. We got all that stuff. Everything else should be, we shouldn't have to touch it, right? I'm just gonna close off the space here a little bit. Oh my God. And then enter, okay. eBay's wackiness. And then I'm gonna kill this top here because we just transferred over a book description, right? And then we've got everything else is legit. And what are we going to price this at? 15? Let's say 15. Why not? And then we've got to take this off. Allow offers. We've got to do the shipping. And we're going to select the service, Canada Parcel. And we're going to do $10. Okay. And then we're going to do Add International, Canada Parcel US. And we're going to add $10. Okay. Now that should be it. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to do a preview. Make sure it all looks legit. And the full titles here. And then here's all the pictures that we provided. Right now, it doesn't show the bold stuff because 
it's eBay's whack on us. The preview is not 100% legit. It doesn't do it right. But we're going to list it. And what you can do, by the way, is uh, have the listing start at a different time. Schedule it in, right? Because what they say is you want to list during the evenings. But right now, we want to list as we're doing so you guys see it coming up. Later on, I, I haven't used the schedule listing start times before. Okay. I don't know if they charge a fee for it. They shouldn't. Uh, but we're going to list it right now. So hopefully it'll be up right away. So let's go list. Okay. And then we can go view list. Right. And I always do this because I want to make sure it's listed correctly. So Guardians of the Galaxy number one, blah, blah, blah. Starting at $15, near mint plus 9.6, which is near mint, near mint plus. That's what I graded it as. So hopefully people end up reading this, right? Uh, but it is a 9.6, it's a near mint plus. Uh, pretty sure on that front. Uh, some people might give it 9.4, some people might give it 9.8, who knows? Um, 9.8, would they? No. Some people selling it would give it 9.8. Uh, people buying it wouldn't give it 9.8, 9.4, 9.6. Da -da -da, and everything looks cool, right? And then we can go click. Well, we could just go see other items. Hold on. From here, from the main page, you can just go see other items and click on here. And it gives you a list, right, of what's up there right now. And Google Boy number one is up already right so it ends next friday at the time we posted it okay and guardians of galaxy will be up uh, within a few minutes i guess one last taser face taser face <laughs> fun um so what I want to do right now is at least list at least one more. So we're going to go longer than what we had planned on doing, right? Uh, where are we? We're over here. So let me change these angles and decide which one are we going to list. What other book should we list? And this guy, again, I'm going to put in the area that I've already listed, right? So I'm going to take this guy and put it here. That way we know we have it up. And let's list New Warriors number one. And by the way, there's a New Warriors TV series, I believe in the works right uh which is super cool chat pause due to scroll oh no it's not gay comic book quote me if i'm sorry what the fuck exactly fantastic let's list what should we list we want the number ones and there's a new excalibur series starting should we do Excalibur? I love this series. Let's list this. Let's list this. Excalibur number one. And we'll take a look at it. This is a beautiful copy. This is a beautiful copy. Okay, let's bring it out. And one thing I used to do with some of the bags is I didn't even use tape. I would fold it. Take a look. The bags were like this. You could fold it in on itself so you didn't use tape. So we're going to bring this out. And we don't need these guys. These are the old bags and boards. And what we're going to do is take pics of it. Again, you're going to hear the click click with the phone being unplugged. And we're going to take pictures of this guy. Right. We're getting sunshine coming in. Let's do this. Let me change the angle so you see this thing too. Taking pictures of this. Okay. Oops. That was too quick.
long if we get to take a picture of the spine. This is a beautiful copy. Let's check it out. Let's do a flip on it, take a picture of the back. The back cover is beautiful, by the way. It's Phoenix. Rachel, really. It's not Phoenix, but Rachel. Beautiful cover in the back. Let's take a look at the back first, right? And you can see it, like I'm getting the reflection, so it's good. I can see any, wow, nice copy, beautiful copy, beautiful copy, beautiful copy. Can you see it? switch it up so this guy's a 9.8 good evening please check out later some Russian comics Russian comics good evening how's everyone doing good Lord how's life Excalibur looks nice this is a great copy this is straight up 9.8 I, I would give it a 10 but I don't give anything a 10 because I wouldn't want people to go it's not a 10 I found the I found a little dot on page five. <laughs> right? This is nine point nine point eight or it's better. Right? So we're gonna Hey, what happened with my little there it is. Little markers. So here, we'll do this. Here, write it down. Nine point nine point eight ten. I'm putting it back, but I'm gonna list it as nine point eight only. Okay. I don't want people. You know, it is what it is. If I was gonna send a book to be graded, this would be it. here because we're about to list it. Let me find, oh yeah, we've got to transfer to a picture. So let me find, again, you're hearing the click. Hopefully the click is not too loud. Let's go, where are we? for this guy. Camera. <laughs> and we want Excalibur. Uh, I should have to do this first. My spelling sucks. So is it Waco spelling? No. Legit spelling. It's 
not wacko spelling. It's legit spelling. Excalibur. And let's grab the pictures. And move them over to the right folder. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the process of uh, do the cell thing, uh, finding it right off the bat. That way, uh, list an item. Where is it? Here we go. That's. There we go. So let me kill this guy. And that one we still need. List an item. Let's bring it over. Okay, we don't need that guy. We don't need that guy. We don't need that guy. We do need that guy, actually. Excalibur. Hey, what's going on? Excalibur, number one. And I believe it's 1990. Let me just do a find it for you guys right off the bat. That way you don't get dizzy me scrolling through things. Oops. Excalibur number one. And it's 1988. Wow. Cool. 1988. 1988. So, X Men. Yeah, it would go under X Men. So, let me do that. I'm going to load up the pictures and then we're going to go to display. Okay. Come on sell something like this and then I'll load the pictures and then we can do the rest of it Excalibur actually this guy and this guy open hopefully we get all of it so I grab everything that we got that we got that we got that, we got that, we got the back. Okay, good enough. So let me turn on the display. We're gonna do top, bottom, display, and me. <laughs> one day we'll have this setup where I can do all this with one button, right? <laughs> one button. So check this out. Let me bring up the chat. Good evening. Today I met up with an old Turkish friend of mine. We shared nostalgic memories and so we uh, with each other. Was a blast. Night Lord. Nice Lord. Good meeting. Very good meeting. So here's what we got. First appearance widget. Okay. First appearance widget. So we want to find out. Uh, this is listed at Fine Plus uh, selling it for $18 and then Fine is 3.6. So let's find out how much Excalibur number one from 1988 is selling for on eBay. And let's see how much is listed here. I don't think here is listed very high, right? And this is just a guide that is off on so many levels, right? But it's a good place to start. So these guys listed at $4, right? In near mint condition, 9.4. Let's see how much is selling for on eBay. Paste. Let's make sure it's all looking good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we don't need volume one in there. We just need Excalibur number one, 1988. So let's check it out. Near mint mint for $5. So it's going cheap. Let's do collectibles, X-Men comics. Sure. What's going on? There it is. So fine is four bucks. Fine four bucks. Very fine. A dollar. Ridiculously cheap. Ridiculous. This guy, I'm not willing to sell for less than fifteen dollars. Okay. Fifteen. Should I put a ten? Nine point eight for seventy dollars. Graded. The grading just costs you, you know, 40 bucks. Is this .com? This is .com. So we want to see what .ca is. .ca. 
So let's see. Very fine. 9.4 sine sold for 166. 9.6 sine sold for that much. Very fine. So basically $100 for 9.8 graded, right? Yeah, I'm gonna list this thing for $15, okay? So what are some of the features we want here? Uh, Chris, Chris Claremont we're gonna put on there, amazing series, right? So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put, we don't need volume one, we don't need it all capitalized. I don't like it when they capitalize everything. X, got it. Hello, Bert. Oops, Bert. And make sure you spell the thing correctly. Excalibur number one, which sometimes I don't do. 1988. Uh, Marvel. Chris. Hey. Oh, I didn't grab the. I didn't want that. I want Chris Claremont. Copy. Widget is uh, uh, Shadow, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Kitty Pride's toy. Uh, not toy, uh, pa um, pet. And he's not really a pet, he's a sentient being. A fantastic uh, art by Alan Davis is fantastic. No, this tale picks up after the events of Excalibur, the sword is drawn, which was um, basically the first appearance of Excalibur as a one shot. Okay. Uh, it's got to be the first appearance of widget. There it is. No, the first appearance of widget. Okay. So we're just going to grab that and put it on there. First appearance of widget. And I'm grading this 9.8. Near mint, mint. Okay. I'm going to put a plus on there as well. Near mint, mint. 9.8 plus okay what's 9.9 oops <laughs> we don't want that what's 9.9.9 9. 9. 9.9 is mint so whatever it ends up being right so we got that now we're going to come back down here let's see what are the things we're going to fill out 1988 series excalibur so we're just going to copy it Instead of me writing it all out, Excalibur, Excalibur, series, Excalibur. And the grade, we're going to kick it up to near mint, mint plus, issue number one. And we're going to come here and grab all the stuff from, again, our X Factor number five, because it's the last one that I edited. It's got all the proper info on there. Okay. And I'm going to change it. I'm going to come here, enter, paste it there. And I'm going to copy what I wrote up top uh, in here in the description. So X, K, number, oops, number one. Ah, oh, that's bold. I'm going to reduce the bold on this. We don't want it bold. Excalibur number one, uh, 1988, Marvel Comics. Make them M capital, Marvel Comics. Uh, Chris, Claire. Oh, that's why the T is missing from Chris Claremont, I forgot to grab the T. Nope, I don't need it there, I need it up top. I forgot to grab the T. Cliffs Claremont, right? Uh, first, the first appearance, first, not cameo, but first appearance of Widget. Widget. Unread copy. Oops, where's our N? Unread copy. Near mint, mint, plus 
plus, 9.8 plus. I'm going to put 9.8 plus. Plus. Beautiful copy. Beautiful copy. Oops, beautiful. Beautiful copy. Please see pics, never been read. Great, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to kill this top guy. And the writers were, were Alan Davis, or the artists were Al covered by Alan Davis and Paul Neary. Art and cover. So Alan Davis, Paul Neary. I'm going to put that in there too. Alan Davis, Alan Davis, Paul Neary. Okay, might as well provide some info. Hey, did I spell beautiful wrong? I did. Where's my E? Beautiful copy. Beautiful copy. Okay. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to do minimum 15. I don't know. 15. Sure. Let's go 15. 15. And no, we're not going to allow any of these things. Shipping. We're going to set it at 10. And the posts, and we're going to make it 10. Okay, and we're going to add international shipping, Canada Post Parcel, and we're going to make this one 10. And did we organize the pictures? Oh, we didn't organize the pictures. We've got to organize the pictures. So, first pick, and then we want top, top left, do a little flip on it, and then Top right, do a little flip on it. Bottom right, what is the bottom left? Bottom right, bottom left. And then we want the spine, right? Oh, this is the, for the thing, this is the bottom left. This is the bottom left of the front bottom left on the front and then we're going to do the spine and then we're going to do a full back cover and then oh we got two pictures of the spine sure let's add two pictures of the spine okay and then full back cover top left cover top right cover bottom right cover bottom left Caliber number one. Cool. Now we can do a preview. Let's check it out. Hmm, how come the picture is not there? Did the picture not load properly. The front, the first picture, it's there. Okay, good enough. So we know it's there. Let's list it. And then we'll take a look at it to make sure it's okay. View list. Your listing is successful, but there's a problem with your gallery. Oh, why? Revise listing. Ah, oh, the picture is not loading. Okay, I gotta load the front picture again. eBay. Okay, let me kill the display for a second and go here oops sorry go here add okay kill it and i gotta go add we want the front cover come on okay so let it sort itself out just load it and then let me do this. Let me turn on the display again. And what we're going to do is revise. Let's see if it loads it properly. We are resting. Nice. There's the picture, right? And here's the pictures. And what you can do is zoom in, right? If you click on them, you can zoom in. Look at the beautiful copy. <laughs> nice. 
Love it, love it, love it. Check out the spine. That's a nice spine. Right? Here's another pick of the spine. It's a beautiful copy. And then we scroll down, Excalibur number one, 1988. A Marvel Comics, Cal uh, Claire Claremont, Alan Davis, Paul, first appearance of Widget, unread copy, and etc. and etc. and it's all there, right? Please note that I have been provided. Blah, 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 blah. Please look at all pictures. Blah, let me know. Please wait for final invoice. So all that stuff is listed there. Okay, and then we can go again. See other items. And eighteen. Let's see. So now we should have. Guardians of the Galaxy number one loaded as well, which we have. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay, let me turn uh, let me turn off display, put on the main camera. And oops, not this one. Kill this guy. No, bring this down. It took a while, eh? We've been at this for two and a half hours. We loaded on three comic books. <laughs> Hilarious. Signed copy costs two hundred dollars. Really, Spider Beans, Chicho. Hey, brother. I'm on break right now at work. Glad I could catch a bit of the stream. Nice, nice to have you. I love Turkish coffee. Turkish coffee is good. Skits on fifteen dollars. Yeah, we listed it for fifteen dollars. Excalibur number one, in. 9.8 some people might give it a 10 some people might give it a 9.6 I doubt it but 9.6 let's say 9.9 it's a beautiful copy right so that's what we got right now we listed three books and Excalibur is up as well okay for some reason the pick is not showing up on it but Hopefully it does. There. Oh, is it? Let's check it out. Well, it's loading, I guess. So it'll load up. Okay. So that's what it takes to load these things on eBay. What I'm going to do most likely is load some more uh, later on this afternoon. I do have a student that I have to go see uh, soon so i'm gonna pack it in for now uh the odds are when we come back i'll live stream it as well i might just i won't i'm not gonna go through the whole shebang of doing all this and going through the whole process i'm just gonna do it most likely keep this angle and just list comic books in chill asmr format okay it'll still be through this mic so it's not going to be through the lapel mic but uh, it'll be fun to do and I might not even talk through it okay I might just get it kick it into auto mode and just do okay hey Chicho Zare how's it going you think an Excalibur movie might be made sometime I think so they be there is a huge huge comic book fan base for Excalibur there's some of us that loved this series more than the X-Men right because it was brilliant it was chris claremont and alan davis just going crazy on it some people don't like it the time travel the alternate alternate universe travel because it was just jumping everywhere but it was such a brilliant comic book read it was just pure fun and the characters were endearing they were sincere there was there was intimate they were they dealt with some major issues uh it was just basically Chris Claremont doing what he wanted to do without the editors of the X-Men filtering him to a certain degree, right? He just let loose with Alan Davis. It was fantastic. I'm gonna jump back on later, I believe. And I, I think we're just gonna I'm just gonna list a few comics. I wanna list at least, you know, seven or eight more comics. We'll see if we get them listed today. Um, but that's what I wanna do. So thanks for being here, gang. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for participating. It was fun to do. Uh, I've wanted to do this for a while. I'm glad we finally ended up doing it. Um, 
and this will definitely be linked up with ASMR now, personal finance and whatnot. Uh, apologies, we didn't load up too many comic books. We loaded up three in two and a half hours. <laughs> All right. Uh, hopefully, we'll do a couple hour stream later on this afternoon and we'll load up more than three. We'll try to load up anywhere between five, six, seven, eight comic books. Maybe do a couple of lots as well. Okay. Aside from that, Zari, thanks for being here. Sorry, we can't, we're not taking it longer. Uh, but uh, loved it tonight. Nice, nice, awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Martin. You're like, what are you? Like almost 9 30, 10 o'clock, 9 30, 8 30, 9 30, 9 30 UK time. Nice thing to do on a Friday afternoon. Nice thing to do on a Friday evening. <laughs> Fun. And I'm glad these books were in phenomenal shape. I really like them. Let's check it out. This is a beautiful copy. Yeah, I would give it a 9.8 just because in the corner over here is just a little bit of... It's not perfect edged. Right. It's not a ding, but it's... It's printing, cutting, right? Yes, nice. I'm getting my timing right for Europe, right? Okay, gang. I'll see you guys in a two, three, probably three to four hours if you want to pop it. Bye for now.